Hello together. In this video, I will show you how to assign a new IP address to a Profinet IO link master. So when delivered, the Profinet masters do not have a fixed IP address assigned. And normally this is done by the PLC, but since we do not have a PLC connected and we are not going to connect a PLC in the future, we will set this IP address manually. There are many different tools that can do this. So one of them would be, for example, the Indusol service tool. And with that tool, you can search for network participants uh, or for network Profinet participants in the network. And there you can set the IP address according to this. It is important that you have set the correct network adapter in the settings. And additionally, that you have the scan settings set to Profinet devices. When you have done this, you can click on start scan and you will see a list of uh, devices found. And in this case, uh, we would found our Profinet master. And on the right side, I have the settings that I can make. So among other things, I can set the IP address here. And uh, I will just demonstrate this here now. And at the same time, I'm going to set a subnet, subnet mask. I do not set a gateway as we do not have one in our network. Otherwise I could also enter this here. I can also assign a Profinet name here. And uh, this is especially important if I run the network with a controller. So. And the only thing I have to do is to click on save. The settings have been accepted. And uh, to check if it worked, I can start the scan again. And now I can see that the IT address was uh, set successfully. That means we have now a setup that the device and uh, uh, with the device and the IP address is dis uh, assigned. Now I can check whether I am connected with the device. And this could be done by entering the IP address of the master into the web browser. This will take me to the web server of the master and uh, I will know whether I'm corrected correctly. When I open the browser, I simply enter the correct, currently set IP address of the master. And if I have done everything correctly, I can directly see the web page of the master. If this does not work, if you don't have any connections, uh, it could be that uh, you don't have set up your network adapter uh, correctly because you need a IP address in the same subnet. So this means we have the master set uh, to 192.168.0.20. Then we have to set the network adapter to, for example, 0 0.253. And then it's possible to communicate with the master. So that's actually it for setting up the master and setting up the device itself. So thanks for listening and good luck trying it out.